All right, guys, what is going on? It's Victorian bringing you another video today. And in today's video, we are back on some more Modern Warfare 3. I actually haven't played Modern Warfare Zombies in a little bit, so let's give it a try. I do remember that I'm trying to get the mastery camo, which at least gives me something to do. Otherwise, I'm bored of this game. So my goal for this game is to get 300 kills with the Ram 7 while it's pack-a-punched. That should be pretty easy. I should ha have some crystals to pack-a-punch this thing right away. All right, that should be easy enough. Let's go ahead and let's jump in and get uh, 300 kills. I actually haven't played this in quite a while. I kind of forgot. It's been a little over, it's been almost two months since I played it, really. This area's got a bunch of zombies. Jesus, there's a lot of uh, zombies around here. Did they up how many zombies spawn? Jesus. What if that sniper is still up there? Oh yeah, I think th that's him right there. Surprised he hasn't sniped me yet. There we go, now I got it. There's two X-Fills. They drastically reduce the amount of X-Fills that there are. All right, so we're gonna go complete the Spore Control contract. I only need 300 kills, then I'm done with this level. So I don't really see a point in going into tier two. Uh, I would really mainly go into tier two to take on the elites. because That's like where they mostly spawn. Uh, either that or X-Fills. And I don't wanna hog an X-Fill if there's only two. I don't like that this guy's traveling with me now because I am just trying to get kills. But it is what it is. I gave him stuff. It happens. He's trying to pay it forward and be nice. I get it. Alright, so I'm trying to hunt down a mangler. Let's see if I can find him. Got him. Where's he going? I'm right here. Hello. Alright, that was easy.
Get 300 kills using the golden enigma. Get 300 kills with the ram 7. Okay, that's exactly what I was going for. So yeah, that, that's pretty much what I've been doing in zombies uh, for the most part. I've been basically just trying to get 300 kills uh, on, on certain guns. Or if I need other challenges done, I'll do those challenges. It really depends. And whatever decent loot I usually find, I try my best to give away. I don't need all of it. Yeah, so I used to sit on x fills whenever I'm trying to get, like, uh, kill challenges done. And I would get, like, 800 to 1,000 kills a game by sitting there most of the game. So, like, I don't like that they decrease the amount of x fills because now it's just going to make my challenges significantly harder to do. Especially for elite zombie kills. But, I mean, it is what it is. I understand why they do it. They want people to actually move around and do shit rather than just sitting at an x fill But... I really just want the camos. I don't really care too much for the game mode. Not really all that interested in, in the storyline, but that's just me. Alright, so uh, I feel like I at least accomplished something. I need 17 more guns uh, to get the Zircon scale in order to get the Serpentinite, if that's even how you pronounce it. So I'm slowly getting there. I don't remember what all guns I did, honestly. All right, so we're gonna get this Holger 556 done real quick. Also, just something weird that I noticed, completely unrelated to zombies. I started getting into tea, which is weird. I never liked tea when I was growing up. I always thought it was disgusting, but uh, lately, I've been drinking raspberry tea, and I love it. It is so good. And then I tried sweet tea. Not as good, but I still tried it, and I would drink it. I'm trying to get away from sodas and stop drinking the things you're not supposed to be drinking. I I'm kind of getting into tea, and I feel like that's a much healthier... I feel like tea is a much healthier option than soda. So, like, it's cheaper, it's healthier. I feel like I'm winning, you know what I mean? This gun feels really good. And also, not to be like a Debbie Downer, does anybody else feel like Call of Duty is just really stale right now? And by stale, I mean like not really a whole lot has changed in this game since release. We haven't really gotten a whole lot of new content that feels different. But also, maybe it's just me maturing and realizing, hey, this game isn't what it used to be. Is, is that a, a possibility there? I feel like Call of Duty is just so boring that I need to go find like a different game basically to play while there's nothing going on. The game's fun for the first couple months and then after that it just drops off and it's it sucks. And then literally after two months of the game coming out you're going, oh I can't wait for the next one. When in reality like this one is still relatively new but it's boring. 
And like I said, maybe I'm just now waking up to it and a lot of people have already realized this. And I know they have because I've talked to a lot of people that are like, I can't believe I bought the game. It literally nothing has changed. It's exactly the same as, as last year. And like, I guess like the kid in me is hoping that I get like the Black Ops 2 feeling like I had a long time ago. Which is why I'm really hoping for a Black Ops 2 Remastered, but... I mean, let's be honest, it's not gonna be the same game. I mean... You know, it, it's just not. The community's changed, the community's gotten older. They're implementing a lot of ways to... Basically, like, prevent trash talking to boost everyone's, um, confidence, even though it's, it's, if they can't handle a little bit of trash talking, they probably shouldn't be playing video games anyways, because they're too soft for it, you know what I mean? I don't know, I, I, I feel like Call of Duty's just gotten really stale, and I don't like that they're imp implementing all these, uh, bans and stuff, if you say certain things, and it's like, that's, that's not how it used to be, it, it used to be, you know, you can say whatever you want, you can trash talk as much as you want, people are gonna trash talk back, and in the end of the day, you never end up running into each other again, and if you do, you're just gonna trash talk to each other again anyways, so like, I, I guess I have a very old school uh, feeling on that, I don't think that video games should be restricted, this is the one place you can go where you, where you, you can actually be like, you know, enjoy yourself, get to, to do things you can't do in the real world. And, uh, you know, in, in this game, or at least the way that I used to look at it, in this game, you know, I, I typically was an above average skill level. You know, it was the one thing that like, hey, I'm really good at this. I'm naturally a very competitive person. So like, I enjoy challenging people, trash talking, and then, you know, putting my money where my mouth is, basically, and showing them, like, hey, no, this is actually, I'm actually good, and you suck, you know? But nowadays, it's just everything's so censored, and I don't like it. My favorite thing on Black Ops 2 that I used to do was 1v1 people. Every single day, I would 1v1 probably at least 10 people. For one, I got a lot better at the game, and I made a lot of cool friendships, and... I also got really good at the game because I was challenging so many people. And back then, you weren't allowed to be in an Xbox Live party chat. And the community would actually talk to each other. But now it's like, er everyone's so scared to talk. It's just gotten, it's gotten really weird. I enjoy getting to know people on this game. And I enjoy finding people that have the same love for the game as I do. But... Finding those people is being significantly harder and harder to do every year because Call of Duty isn't what it used to be. You know, everybody holds it to such a high standard like I do and they're letting us down and they're basically just running this game based off of microtransactions. When in reality, I mean, I, I would say start updating the game like you guys used to a long time ago, you know? Come out with DLC packs every two months, new maps, new game modes, um, a new zombies map, you know, something. Uh, yeah, I understand that there's seasons, but like, it's it's not the same. Honestly, to, to me, one of the most frustrating things is that they're trying to basically ban people because they say certain things. And... I don't think that's very fair. In the end of the day, we all paid for a game. We should be able to use it the same way. And trash talking is a competitive thing. It's not, I'm not personally attacking someone. I want to be able to, to say what's on my mind. But yeah, like it, it just frustrates me that you're not allowed to, to drop the F-bomb. You're not allowed to, to tell, you know, basically to curse at all without getting banned. Or reported and it's like I only think you should get reported truly if you're cheating at the game you know people I'm lagging again people come to this game to let out their emotions and, and to get over the things that's going on in real life with them and trash talking is kind of part of it
There you go, I just got the, the 300 kills with the Holger. Long story short, video games will never be the same again. That That is truly how I feel. I miss the the, uh, the days when you would get into a lobby and everyone is trash talking each other. And then everyone is laughing. And nobody cried because everybody understood that people don't really mean the things that they're saying. You know what I mean? And that's all that I needed to do. I just needed to get a few guns with 300 kills. That's it. That's all. It's easy. All right, now I need 16 more guns done with the Zircon scale to unlock this Serpentinite, and then I should be able to get the Borealis. This is taking me forever to do because honestly, I I, I stopped playing zombies for a couple months, so uh, I'm a little behind. I'm a lot behind, but it is what it is. Anyways, that pretty much concludes today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what your thoughts are on the restriction that we have going on on Xbox. Uh, or not just Xbox, anything, anything. PC, PS5, Xbox, any type of gaming console. Um, let me know what your thoughts are about them restricting us on things that we can say, things that we can do. And then all these microtransaction focused games. I miss the old days. Uh, and by old days, I mean like 10 years ago when DLC was actually affordable and you got actual content from it and it was enjoyable and in my opinion the gaming community was thriving but now that you're there's a lot of people getting banned every day just by speaking their opinion and getting into the game and then they're being punished for it let me know what your thoughts are on that i am curious to see if anybody else has the same mindset as i do anyways thank you guys for watching i greatly appreciate it if you do want more modern warfare 3 content let me know down below if you have any game recommendations, let me know down below as well. I did just get done watching the Fallout series on Amazon Prime or whatever. Now I kind of want to play Fallout. So let me know if that's something that you would want to see. Anyways, thanks for watching. It's been Victorium, and I'll see you guys in the next one.